Good evening, everyone. Sarah here. Tonight we have something a little lighter, a little more fun. Uh, it's going to be Kyle Kulinski, who is a longtime progressive, so yay. One of the good guys, if there is such a thing. Um, <laughs> talking about something silly that Caitlyn Jenner did, but I think that there's obviously more to it than, than Kyle really catches on to. All right, let's see what he's got going on. This is a, a rather funny story sad story. It's an embarrassing story. Um, Caitlyn Jenner was caught basically using an alt account, using a fake Twitter account, and she was using it in order to pump herself up because she's running for governor of California. So here she said, honestly shocked she would retweet that. Thank you. A very important story that needs to come to all Californians. And uh, she's responding to her own tweet, which says, why? Do you want more unemployment, more uh, more from, more illegal immigration, bringing COVID, schools closed? B.S. Forget Gavin Newsom. Okay. I wonder which one is the alt account here. So, like, um, it's it's this one in the middle, right? The why? Do you want more unemployment? That's the, that's the alt account, right? Because it's Caitlyn Jenner responding to Caitlyn Jenner. You know, and then Caitlyn Jenner responds to Caitlyn Jenner responding to Caitlyn Jenner. Or maybe I'm misreading that. Maybe it's just, I don't know. But like, who is the alt account? I guess is the real question. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many levels there are. I can't, I still can't read Twitter to this day. <laughs> but, like, who is this fictional person? Or who, 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 who is Caitlyn Jenner pretending to be online? That is a burning question, at least to me. I would really love to know that. And that tweet, by the way, was in response to one that said, support Gavin Newsom in the recall election. So she responded to a tweet that said, support Gavin Newsom in the recall election. And then she responded to her own tweet to be like, ha, that's a wonderful point. Thank you. This is important. You're so smart, brilliant, brave. Uh -huh. Come on, son. Come on, son. Freudian slip? Or, I mean, what do you think? Turn a phrase? Or Freudian slip? This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. You, okay. I'm a fucking YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Since 2008, Do I have apparently. the time or the ego or the nerve to set up a fake Twitter account to suck myself off? <laughs> Again, the reference to the male genitalia. I don't know if that's you know uh, purposeful there. Who knows? I don't know if Kyle would even know. But um, <sighs> yeah, right. I think what he's trying to say is get a life. No! <laughs> Most people don't. Have Are you kidding me? First of all, it's sad on its face. Even if you did have the, have the time, don't do it. Yeah. But, like, this is a level of narcissism that is record... I'm not, I don't even know if Trump did this. And Trump is, like, 10 out of 10 on the narcissism. Oh, no, yeah, that's scale. classic Trump. You're running for governor. Don't you have a speech to give? Don't you have a tax policy to write? Don't you have an expert or two to talk to? Arguably. Don't you have an interview to do? Imagine... Taking time to log back and forth, I'm going to log on my fake account and talk about how my normal account is so wonderful and brilliant. You're so smart. I love you, Kyle. I bet you have the biggest dick. So <laughs> there it is again. And, you know, I don't think that, uh, I don't picture Caitlyn Jenner as being the sort of person who spends a terrible amount of time pursuing things like policy positions and expert advice on a whole lot. So wonderful. Come on, Caitlin. She, by the way, her campaign is flailing hard. Oh my God. She is flailing so hard. It's the saddest Yay, thing I've ever seen. I can't imagine. Um, Larry oh. Elder, the black conservative who's r relatively well known, he's straight Drax and them clowns of Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, so he's he was somewhat known. But I'm sorry, he's straight. What? I'm actually, indulge me. I'm going to take that back a few seconds. Because he, he's what? 
Tell me if this is even words. Larry Elder, the black conservative who's r relatively well known, he's straight Draxon the Musclounce of Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, so he's he was somewhat known, but Draxon the Musclounce. Did I miss the memo? Because it's totally plausible that that that, that would happen. Um, if this is some kind of interesting new slang, I would really be interested to know about that. Please tell me. Caitlyn Jenner was way more popular, way more known than uh, Larry Elder. But Elder's running circles around Jenner in the polls. And by the <laughs> way, we covered a story not that long ago. Caitlyn Jenner has... Uh, so wait, hallelujah, the voters have some sense of the fact that they're voting for like a political candidate and not a celebrity. Yay! A, a camera team following her 24-7. And so now... And she's paying for it out of her pocket. It's not coming from her campaign funds. Hmm. So now well, the speculation good, is right? she's doing this because idiots. She's just making a documentary, and then she's going to release it to Netflix or whatever. <laughs> and she doesn't even think she could win the governor of California. So, like, again, that would be pretty classic Trump, right? Because that's what a lot of people think that he did with his presidential campaign, and he did not think that he would actually win. <laughs> he was trying to, you know, do promotional for some TV show or something idea that he had. Um... So in a way, if Jenner loses, he will have succeeded where Trump failed. Hmm, interesting. So she's just doing this for PR. She's doing this to stay relevant. She's doing this to get a documentary out of it. And then, by the way, to try to play a fake civil rights hero. Me? I'm only the first transgender <laughs> governor person to run. Oh, yeah. And so I'm a hero. <sighs> yes. Don't look at my policies. It's so fact, though. Don't look at my policies. I don't want people to have health care. Guys, I see the screen. Okay, the screen's back. Sorry. It was just yeah, that's him, not there me. for a second. Huh. But I, I don't see – you don't want people to have health care. You don't want to raise wages. What you want to do is deregulate and get the government out and let business screw everybody. And so those are your policies. I don't care about your identity if your policies will objectively hurt the population of California and will make people's lives worse off. And they will make people's lives worse off. Okay. So your identity does not matter. In the face of material issues, material reality, material problems, your identity is beside the point. Thank you, Kyle. I don't, like, why would I care about whether or not you have blonde hair, brown hair, what color your eyes are, what color your skin is? I don't care if your policies suck and her policies suck, but she's going to play this game of like, the first transgender woman to run for governor. And look at all, the, I guarantee you she's going to play this angle. Look at all the bigotry I experienced. I mm. guarantee you, because they already did this thing at CPAC Literally. where they claimed somebody was chasing her out of there and screaming all sorts of messed up stuff. Now, it's possible that that's real. Just want to be clear. It is. Yeah, I had not heard about this. And I did not look it up. Uh. <laughs> but it's also possible she's paying for the damn camera crew and she's got them following her 24-7. Some days, do you want to try to spice stuff up a little bit so that you have some better content of course you do so that uh, listen it may be fake i'd be lying to you guys if i said i wasn't questioning the story that happened i'm definitely questioning the story that happened and now we know she's this kind of person who was faking it so is it really that crazy uh, to think uh, she might have uh, been okay so the faking it on twitter means that she might be faking other things he she whatever i really don't actually give a rat's ass with this individual jenner thank goodness that he didn't completely change his name, right? It gives us something to hang our hat on. Um, <clears throat> I really do not give a crap about Jenner one way or the other. I just think that this is a really, really, really fun illustration of, yeah, the lengths that people will go to for their own delusions. And I think that Kyle's probably right. I think that Jenner probably doesn't want to be governor because being governor is like got a lot of unglamorous like meetings and paperwork and like long hours i guess i hear that they agonize over you know <clears throat> excuse me policy decisions and votes and whatnot which really doesn't sound like his cup of tea faking it in that scenario too of course not so she's faking it here caitlin you're so great you should be governor you should be emperor of the world caitlin ooh, ooh, there's another one emperor of the world I mean, I guess not like a woman can't be emperor because a couple of them have, right? A lot of people have been talking about Wu Zetian lately. I hear she was an emperor, but some people call her empress. Some feminists I've encountered are like offended by the feminine version of words like that, actor and actress. 
you know, steward and stewardess, which is a dumb menial job anyway, like waiter and waitress. When I was a waitress, I called myself a waitress because I'm a female and I was waiting tables. You know, I don't see waiter as like the uh, default. I don't know. <laughs> I really, I haven't actually been able to decide whether or not that whole thing is just misogynist because like, why wouldn't we have a word for a woman doing a thing? Why is that the sexist thing instead of being allowed to inhabit that both of those things at the same time? I'm not exactly sure, but I have a feeling that that might be the misogynist idea that everything has to be neutral. Mm. Just a random thought. Yes. Oh, shit. Wrong account. You know what happened, by the way? And this is how we know it's this is what it is. She tweeted that and then immediately deleted it. Damn it. One of those things. But somebody was on the ball, account. I guess, huh? Mm. It, everybody saw it, Caitlin. It, it, this is Twitter. Like, what do you. Second you hit send, done, gone. That is Locked. true, though. That is so, true. You gotta be careful. Maybe should have kept, kept it up and came up with, like, a Trumpy and bold face lie. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is, I, I, what? Yeah. New phone, who this? Arguable, so, uh, yeah. Probably would have worked. The saddest thing I've ever seen. Um, you know her campaign is abysmal. And um, this is the best evidence of it yet. Right, yeah. That's what this is evidence of. Okay. <laughs> That's Crystal Ball standing next to Kyle there. Who, what a name, right? You're not going to forget it. Mm. And of course, she's very serious because of course you would be. If your name were Crystal Ball and you grew up with that name, you would be like, no, no, I'm smart. I'm serious. Take me seriously. And she, she is, she's very knowledgeable. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to cover them up because... This is my show. Ah. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Caitlyn Jenner. Bruce Jenner. I mean, dude, is winning the decathlon, like, not enough, I guess, being on the cover of Wheaties boxes, you know, famously. I'm not quite that old. So I didn't actually see that, but I've heard. <laughs> and paying a camera crew to follow you around is just, I mean, what is that? A crew, not a cameraman, not one camera, a crew. Which is, you know, so that was sound guy and lighting people, I guess. I don't know. I've done theater. Not so much film. Not so much documentary film, certainly. But uh, a crew implies several people. What is that? I guess, you know, you become accustomed to it after living on a reality show for, like, what, a decade or something? <laughs> I don't know. Just the behavior of this person is clearly deranged. I mean, maybe that's a bit strong because he's... I don't know, he, Ran a lady down with his car one time. But, um, off the hook, for sure. And maybe needs to be put a stop to before he hurts himself uh, any further. But, uh, yeah, clearly that's not where the zeitgeist is at at the moment. I'm really kind of looking forward at this point to seeing where that campaign goes. Yeah. You know, hopefully straight into a nosedive. <laughs> And then the inevitable movie or show or whatever that comes out from this, oh my gosh, <sighs> is going to be that person going out on their own, right? Because before this, they were on somebody else's show as a secondary character with like a super enveloping storyline, right? Because I heard about it and I don't watch that show. I heard about it, like, way back at the beginning of all of my involvement in all of this. Actually, my personal history notwithstanding. Because that was not what you would call an active member of, like, any community. Because I was a shut-in, essentially. <laughs> Still kind of, you know. But homebody, shut-in, eh, come see, come stop. Whatever. I go to the grocery store, like, every other day. So surely that counts for something. I digress. Going back to the subject at hand... 
how anyone cannot see that this person is just off the deep end, round the twist, whatever you want to call it, is beyond me. And that anyone would even ponder voting for them to have any sort of <laughs> position of authority over, like, government funds. Mm, Y'all think that the West Coast is bad now. Wait until Bruce Jenner gets in charge of California. Ooh, howdy. Man, they're going to be doing stuff like the Weast Ball every weekend. But that's never going to happen. Like Kyle said, he's not going to win. There's no way. Please, if there's any justice in this world, let this, you know, let, let Jenner actually pull off the, the Trump Hail Mary or whatever for the ultimate ratings as opposed to um, the ultimate face plan. Like and subscribe, you guys. I'm just getting warmed up. And I'm going to go find some other stuff to bitch about. Have a good one and I'll see you soon.